Greetings from Jivras Technologies. In this video, we are going to see how to integrate Google Forms with Google Drive and use advanced features in this. Using Form Director, we can integrate Google Forms with Google Drive to create folders and place the submitted files in Google Forms into a Google Drive folder. We can also create templated folder structures inside the target folder and place the files submitted from the Google Forms into specific folders under the templated folder structure. Let us see how to do that. I have a simple partner onboarding form here which accepts company name, contact name, contact email and company related branding information which is company logo and company banner as well as few agreements like service agreement and license agreement. So on submission of this form, I want to create a folder in the name of the company and paste these files under that folder. Let us see how to do that. Launch form director. Start setup. Choose Google Drive as an app. Choose the parent folder in which you want to create this new folders. Let's see that. So I want to create the parent folder under partner repository. So let me choose that. Then for each submission, I want to create a subfolder under the parent folder. In a templated name let me use the dynamic names from uh, the list so I want to create a folder in the name of the company then I want to attach whatever files that are submitted in the Google Forms let me choose all of this Let me switch off the notification to save the service. Now the service is configured and ready. Let us go ahead and test this. Let me submit the form. Let me give sharing trees the company name. Okay, so now I'm going to submit this form with company name as sharing tree, contact information and some images as logo, banner and some PDFs as uh, brochure, service agreement and license agreement. On submission of this, I expect all this information to be coming here in a folder in the name of the partner. So let us see how it happens. Let me submit it. Let me go to the folder and see. You can see that there is a new folder that has been created in the name of the partner. So let me go inside that. So you can see all those files that have been submitted there are placed here. So you have the logo, you have the banner and you have the documents that has been attached here. So likewise for every partner that has been submitted there it will create new folder for each of this. Now let us look at an advanced scenario where I want to place these files inside a specific structured folder instead of uh, directly pasting it here I want to put that in a structure like uh, the branding agreements as folders and I want to default by default give you a document in that folder and the attachment related to the branding I want to place it in the branding and attachments related to the agreements I want to place it inside the agreement so to do that first we need to prepare a 
template folder. So this is the template folder structure that I have established here. So it has a file here and it has two folders called branding and agreements. So inside branding, it has another file here. And then inside agreements, there are no other files. So this is the structure that I want to establish whenever a new partner is getting onboarded and then place those attachments inside these folders. Let us see how to do that in form director. Let me switch off the whole service and create a new service to configure this advanced options. Choose Google Drive. Let me call this as advanced service. Here also, I will choose the parent folder. I will choose partner repository as the folder. Here also, I will choose partner repository folder. And let me mention uh, what is the folder name that should be generated let me see the company name I will use that as a folder name and inside this company name folder I want to create the templated folder structure so for that I will say apply templated folder structure then I will have to choose the templated folder structure here Partner template folder structure I'll select it this is where I have the branding folder agreements folder and some default files inside let me select this then I'll say which attachments to be going into which folder so let me choose the company logo company banner and company brochure to be going inside the branding folder let me add one more attachment and choose service agreement and license agreement documents to be going inside the agreement folder. I'll switch off the email sending. I'll save this. Now this advanced services is configured in such a way that when a new uh, form submission is happening it will create a folder in the name of the partner company name and then take all the folders and files from a templated folder structure and place it there after that it will take the attachments from the google form and put that into right folder the company logo banner and brochures to be going into the branding folder and service agreement and license agreement to be going into the agreements folder. Let us see how it happens. So let me rename the old output uh, with some, some suffix as old so that we can differentiate it. So if you look at the old folder, all files are sitting in the same place. Now let's go back and submit this. So now I have configured all this information to be submitted. It's the same information that I'm going to submit it. And this time I expect that all these files to be organized into the templated folder and placed into the appropriate folders. Let's see how it happens. Let me submit this. And then I'll go back to that folder. 
So this is where I'm expecting sharing tree as the company name to be created here and then the complete folder structures to be formed inside that. So you can see that the new folder is created for the new partner. You can see the folder structure is established here based on the templated folder. This is a static document that I wanted to place here. We go inside this. You see that this is a static document that I had placed in the templated folder. And these are the branding related uh, files that has been attached in the Google form. The logo, the banner, the brochure. Let me go back to the, the parent folder of uh, the partner. Then you can see an agreements folder that is also dictated by the templated folder structure. And inside this, it is placing the service agreement and license agreement. So this is how you can use this advanced service in Google Drive to organize the output folders using the templated folders and place the attachments into the subfolders wherever you want. In form director, you have a lot more options. Instead of choosing a parent folder from Google Drive, you can use a folder that has been generated by a previous service. You can choose to generate a subfolder or not. You can configure whether to copy the attachment or move the attachments. Then you also have option to share the generated folder with whomever you want. So using Google Drive integration of Form Director, you can do a lot more operations on Google Drive as per your need and as per your business expectations. Keep exploring the integration and then configure as per your need and enjoy. Thank you for watching.